And I'm so glad I got you I love the things that we do We a family together Yeah Beam squad, we gon' ride Making the sunshine But in time we getting better And even when you don't try You making my heart smile We really came from the bottom And we going up Place in this world that got all this love. Beam squad, we gon' ride. Yo, what it is, Beam Squad? It's your girl Eva. And your boy Super Sire. And today, you guys, it's a very ugly day outside. Oh, hold on, hold on. Somebody's. Hey, Maddie. Hey, Major. It's a what? It's a surprise in New York. It's a surprise in New York? Yep. What do you do, Billy B? Guys, Billy's mouth is still hurting. He's actually due to go to mouth, have mouth surgery in what? How many days? Two days. So all his, um, all his wisdom teeth have to be pulled out. So you might not hear Billy speaking that much this vlog. He's in pain. We got his look. Prescriptions over here, you know, he got prescriptions and stuff. And we're all you hungry. Oh, my baby's hungry. Y'all hungry? Mommy, what's the surprise? What's the surprise? I didn't tell you about the surprise. Your dad did, so maybe you should talk to your dad about yeah, it. Yeah, what's the surprise? Y'all hungry? I want yes. baby, I want baby, I want baby, I want baby, I want baby. Uh, we're going to get some bamboo. Yeah! But guys, Saya, I, want, I really want bamboo too. Bamboo is like a very healthy spot that we yeah, eat. That's why I but like it. It's been storming, y'all. It's been really storming out here. The alarms went off and it went, it went Which means everybody get inside, the thunder's out and it might be a storm, like a big storm. There's been tornadoes back to back in different parts of Florida. One was literally like 20 minutes away from our house and now scary. Thankfully it didn't hit us. Um, but these storms are getting out of hand. I'm starting to think, I don't even wanna tell y'all what I'm starting to think because when I think, it get a little crazy. I be thinking some crazy stuff sometimes, so let me not put that in y'all wow, head. stop, Cap. It said really expected to stop in 30 minutes. It says that? Mm -hmm. I hope it do, y'all. Well, I'll be back in 30 minutes to show y'all if it does for real. Look, but now, right now, we finna go get something to eat. Later. We just got home from um, getting some food and stuff, and we are helping, we are on an animal control mission. One of our neighbors came to us recently, and they asked us for help. They're looking, it's, it's jumping, they're looking for that pet bunny, right? They, go over there. Oh, <laughs> go see. It's right there next to the... Melly, come here. Hey, Melly. So, yeah. It's right there next to the thing. So, one of our neighbors came to us looking for their dog. I mean, their pet bunny. And we saw the bunny a few days ago, but we didn't see it at the moment. How about now we see the bunny? The bunny is, like, right there looking all chunky and stuff. And Billy is going to try to save it. Um, our neighbor texts Billy a picture of the bunny. Babe, can I see it? But it might run away from you. Look, look it's fast. Yeah, that is it. That's it. That's Hurry it. Hurry up, Sire. Give me, give me. Babe, you might not catch it. I don't think you're faster. I might not, but if you guys stay out the way, I might. Melly, go over there. Go over there, boo boo. You can't be in the street, daddy. Oh, snap. The bunny's on the run. All of y'all stay right here. Get out the street. Sire, your job, make sure they don't come in the street. Billy's job is to catch the bunny for our friend, our neighbor friend. So this is going to be an extreme animal control type vibe. You see the bunny, y'all? It's running away, and that's the exact one. Billy's gonna catch it. I could tell. He's going to catch the bunny. Oh no! That bunny out. Look at Billy. He out too. Give it some food, Ty. Go get some food. Maybe that's what? a different technique. What's the food? Go get some um, broccoli from the fridge. Okay. Carrots or something. <laughs> oh look, Billy's so close. You didn't catch it. <laughs> hurry, babe. Babe, hurry, hurry. Oh, that bunny's on the run. Oh, I can't go that fast. <laughs> we really want to catch this bunny for the lady because that she was crying so bad for her little pet. I felt bad for her. Billy did too. Like we we was we felt so bad that we saw it. And we weren't able to get it for her, so I mean, we, we weren't able to tell her at the time because we didn't know. Now that we know, it sucks because it's like we see your pet and we know all her tears and her happiness will be solved if we caught it for her. So, babe, how is you? That, that put you on your workout, huh? Yeah. You exhausted. What the hell is that? A fly. So that was the bunny. Though. That was it. Why you keep walking? Still, I'm trying to. 
Talk to you, bro. <laughs> you want to go inside? Come get some water. You tired? Let's Trying to catch my water. breath. Let's go inside. Oh, Damn. Patrick. You almost had it, huh? Almost had it. And you see, I try to intercept it yeah, too. Yeah, you try to. But that thing. But hurts. I was not going in the bushes though. Yeah, that's, that's too much. That's. She said she tasted it for twelve <laughs> minutes. That bunny don't want to come back. Just, yeah, the bunny don't want to. He he happy out here. Mhm. Mm well, like honestly, guys, if you really think about it, what animal wants to be caged in a cage? It's like prison if you really think about it so it wants to be free roaming around in these streets you know i think that's what all bunnies would like to be doing so i could feel why i didn't want to get caught guys, what guys, i think i have an idea what's your idea so on your life mm -hmm. later today you should ask them if i sh if you should give me a pet okay you okay so size hey, i promise i promise i promise I'll don't get on your knees You're okay baby don't I'll get on your knees get up you're out the door. Out the door is a super side. You're a legend. You don't get on your knees. I promise. I will do anything for that dad, dog, cat, whatever. I'll talk to daddy about it. No. Baby, your son is adamant about, I think that's the word, adamant, adamant, whatever, sorry, about getting a pet. Since he seen a cat where I just came from. Hello? A what? He seen a what? He seen a cat wherever we just came from. Where And he's like, he really wants a pet, so... I told him I'll talk to you about it because he said, I promise I'll do anything. I'll pick up the poop, the little, 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 little. Yes, Cap. Don't, 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 don't not believe him. You're not believe him? I'm not going to believe him. I don't want to smell nothing. I don't want to smell. I don't want to take care of an animal. That's really my problem. I really don't. And we didn't got, because you know what's another problem? He said he's going to do it. He if might just. If something happened to the pet, then we got to take it to the hospital. Who's yeah. who going to be sleeping over for the, for the, for the pet? Me? Oh, yeah, Sai. This is another thing. When we, Remember when we had Cloud? We couldn't go on vacation because you have to get a dog sitter a pet sitter and all that extra. What are you talking about? You have to have somebody to watch oh, the yeah, pet when you're on yeah, vacation. You gotta pay for a babysitter, you gotta pay for all of that. We're gonna yeah. take it. Gonna That's take not it cat. Like, oh, yeah, train. We'll when when they mother. train them went to a vacation, they left their dog home. No, I'm pretty well, yeah, sure they had yeah. the nanny. The somebody nanny go to check it. it. Yeah. Somebody went over there to Ryan, check on them. Ryan, Ryan go over there. Um, Kells. Kells. They have people to do that. We don't have people. What, little girl? Go to your daughter keep bugging. What's she talking about? She wants some chocolate syrup. It's like, it's like, you know what she does? It's like, Saya, oh my God. Saya, that is no, okay. I understand that you're sad that we don't want to get a pet at the moment. If you be patient, maybe when you turn like 21, you can get one on your own. 21, that's not, that, when you get your own house. Yes, maybe. What's your mouth? I want cereal. You want cereal? Mm -hmm. Alright, give me one second, okay? When kids get sad about not getting pets, it makes me wonder, what do they expect from us as adults? Do they know that we're only doing them a favor? There will be times where the dog will be barking, which it has been times, where our dog was barking in the middle of the night and somebody has to go out there and walk it. It's a lot of, it's a lot of responsibility. I, for one, don't want it. I don't want that responsibility. I don't want to take care of another animal. I got kids. This is a lot already. I don't want no pets. Saya, you will take care of it. Only you do the things, the basics. But then the big stuff, we're going to have to take care of it. We're going to have to take it to the vet. The, it has to be taken to the vet. They have to have um, something that takes the worms out their stomach because they all get worms. And that's expensive. They shed. So it has to be groomed. All that stuff. It's, it's more to it than just walking it and taking poop. Okay? You have cloud, bruh. You know. I'm sorry. Hey, you. Oh, you see this pushy? It's not for you. That's a gift. It's a birthday present for somebody. Not for you, though. It's for somebody else. It's okay, my baby. All right, let's go on live. We're going on live. What's up, guys? It is the next day, and we are going to the gym. You see Bay over there? Y'all see me? You guys, when I normally go to the gym, I be looking real bummy. I don't be looking this cute. But today, since Billy's coming with me, I felt like looking real good so he could record me. <laughs> Y'all, when I left last year, same time last year, this time last year, I mean, I was 160 pounds. I was unhappy. I was hurt. I was scared. Not even scared, to be honest. I was scared. I was just, you know, I was just in a you know, space, but I pushed through and I actually focused on positive and I was able to, you know, be happy even though I was still sad. So it was like living, I was living a nightmare and a dream at the same time. Things were going good for me and my family, but they were also going bad for us at the same time. And y'all know that you guys been with us throughout everything, but I was 160. I had major I let, and I didn't work out after Melly major. My husband right here told me, oh, you see how that sound? 
<laughs> you see how that sound? Yeah, my husband. Thank you, baby. My husband's still in pain, y'all. But my husband was like, baby, I don't like this version of you. I don't like it. Like, you you need to go to the gym. <laughs> I used to be like, how you just going to say that to me? Like, how you just going to tell me to go to the gym? You calling me fat? You supposed to love me any way I come. That's how I felt, but. But guys, in reality, when somebody really loves you, they want to see the best version of you all the time. They, they, wanna, they want you to show up as your best. And I was being like a little stubborn, and I was like, no, you gotta love me fat, ugly, or whatever. You know, however I come, you're supposed to love me, but that's not true. You gotta appreciate people when they're trying to push you to be better. And after uh, lots of, you know, being annoying and literally building me a gym while I was gone I finally decided to get in the gym so while I was home I was working out and stuff and now I keep I'm keeping it up I'm going you feel me and I am now 140 pounds so I've lost 20 pounds and I'm proud of myself he's proud of me too he just can't say it because his mouth hurt but we're both proud of me we're all proud of me and I think I deserve no I don't even to the point I don't even want like bad food I eat healthy stuff like I eat food that's gonna keep me alive fruits vegetables like this is what I'm drinking in the morning it has pineapple coconut water lemon and chia seeds and I probably eat dinner I'm eat some breakfast around a little later I don't know I think I might have the food thing wrong because for some reason I actually like eating in the afternoon when my um my meal prep stuff says I supposed to eat, be eating early in the morning but I really don't like the idea of breaking breakfast like breaking that fast Whenever I wake up, I feel energized, right? So I don't feel like, I feel like if I eat, I'm gonna make myself feel lazy. So I don't eat till like 12 o'clock now. Sometimes, most of the times lately. And I eat fruits, smoothie, stuff like that. Good stuff, healthy stuff. And I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. Even for dinner, I be eating quona with rice and um, avocado, some chicken, no fried food. Like we just ate fried food the other day, um, salmon the other day, and it made me feel very heavy. So I ain't doing that no more. But I feel good. I feel happy. I feel like my mind is in the right place. You dig? I'm just feeling refreshed. So right now we're going to the gym, get this workout in, and we're going to catch y'all in a little bit. This guy right here, I forgot to tell y'all, he's going to get oral surgery tomorrow. So he's going to be put to sleep, which he didn't want to be put under, but he's going to trust his doctor. His doctor made him feel very comfortable. So he's going to be put to sleep. They're going to take all four of his wisdom tooth out, you guys. Um, I'm going to have to take care of him. I have no problem taking care of him and making him soups and all that good stuff but we had a busy weekend plan and i don't know how i'm gonna do it because we have to keep things in motion like things have to go so what's the plans for this weekend melly is having her first ever sleepover and i'm gonna sleep with her because i know she's gonna be you know nervous so we're doing that and um by now you probably would see a, a video but Saya and Kelly are recording a music video, so we're gonna have that going on. I don't want to tell them Saya can't come because I can't come, and I, I feel like Saya, you know, Saya needs me. If it's like when Saya's doing music videos, I have to be there, I have to see these things and like dress him and like tell him, you know, make sure he on point. And I just, I just gotta be there, I can't not be there. So I'm trying to figure out how this is going to affect Billy, like because he's getting put to sleep and his fourth wisdom teeth is coming out Friday. I'm trying to see by Saturday, will he be good to stay home alone? But yesterday, he was like, what if I can't move? What if I can't walk? <laughs> I was done laughing. I was like, man, you get oral surgery. I don't think it has anything to do with your legs. But I did remember how it felt when I got my deep cleaning, y'all. I had a deep cleaning because my, 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 um, whatever i had a deep cleaning and i asked them to numb it like stick a needle in my gum and numb my teeth because i did not want to feel any pain i got sensitive teeth when i tell you when i finished getting my teeth clean i felt the worst i did not want to move i did not want to do anything so i'm feeling like that's what billy's gonna go through and i don't know how to do this i'm i don't know how i'm gonna take care of my man and make sure works get done at the same time and still take my baby to her first ever slumber party so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna have to be a multitasker. I'll figure it out and I'll, I'll show y'all how I do this because us moms, we super moms and we can get everything done. You feel me? But yeah, babe, you think, I, you think I'm gonna be able to like do all three of these things? These are three important things. Take care of you is one. Um, size music video and Melly's sleepover. Maybe. Maybe. 
Oh, and Billy's supposed to be with the boys because it's a girl sleepover. So Billy's supposed to be with Saya and Major. Hopefully, Saya can take care of Billy for like the little bit of hours what? that I'm gone, which is at night. So like like between Saturday nighttime, while we're at this, me and Melly at the sleepover having fun, maybe Saya could take care of his dad. You know, that's what kids have to do sometimes. You gotta learn how to take care of your parents. So baby. I think I might leave Sai in charge. I'm gonna teach him. I'm gonna make you all the soups and stuff and mashed potatoes and gravy. So me and Melly could like be able to go to the sleepover. Mm -hmm. And by the morning time, I'll rush back to you. Mm. You see, I think I got this all figured out. I think, and then for the music video, I think you're just gonna have to come with us. I know you're gonna be in pain. You can sleep in the car. My, this ain't my, my face gonna look like a chicken. You don't have to go anywhere. Sleep in, they got an Airbnb. So you can sleep in the Airbnb and just relax while we do the music video. Airbnb? Trey and Keisha. Oh. Yeah. I don't know yet, but y'all, we gonna have a lit weekend. Y'all remember how cool kids was? It was lit. We had the kids in lit in the Airbnbs pool party. It was fun. So we doing that again. So I'm about to be real lit, y'all. I got so many fun stuff that I'm doing with Melly and Major, and it's gonna be exciting to see them react to these things because they never done like YouTube videos before. And on SFG channel, they are getting in the gist of it and they're having fun. So I got lots of stuff, and I'm so excited for them because they're gonna have so much fun. They gonna be like, oh, I love summer, yeah. So that's gonna be lit. For the July coming, we planning a party. It's a lot, it's a lot, guys. So we're going to the gym and we're gonna let y'all see how we work out. Y'all, y'all already know Goldie in the building. I already know. Big motivation for me, y'all. She been helping me stay in the gym consistently. About to get sexy. <laughs> her, her ass, she be going harder than me, y'all. I can't do what she do. She be going extra hard. It be fun. It be fun, though. It do be fun. It be therapy for us. It is like therapy. We got Bills in here. Bills? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Billy going to the gym already? He's good? No, he didn't do it yesterday. He oh, he didn't do it? Nah, they doing it tomorrow. He's gonna get put Cause to yeah, sleep. you wasn't finna want to come to the gym after you got your strip pulled. Yeah, I know. Tomorrow. That's what he said. He was like, he coming, he just got his teeth pulled. So, the, hold on, hold on. Talk we'll be back. I got beat up by the gym today, but that's what we want. We left the gym feeling exhausted as heck. I did 13 workouts. I didn't do cardio because I couldn't do it. I feel dizzy right now, so we need food to fuel the muscles. I'm so tired. Later. We just had some breakfast. I had a chia seed pudding. That's what I had for breakfast. Even though I feel like I'm about to pass out, I wanted to go with something light. But when I get home, I'm gonna eat some chicken or some or some eggs or something some with some protein because bruh that workout made me feel like i got i'm about to pass out um i'm going to Publix real quick to make billy some soup because he can't eat like he really can't chew so i'll make him some soup with like potatoes carrots and soft stuff so that way he could eat because i feel bad for my baby he's not acting like himself he's acting so lame and boring i hate when he's boring um, and it reminds me of the beginning of the year when he wasn't in a good state like he was in a he was in a bad state. Y'all know why, you know, he lost his mom and dad and it hit him. And a lot of people were saying how Billy wasn't acting like himself or he was acting boring and stuff. I'm like, come on now. I didn't say nothing, but I was like, come on now. This man just lost his mom, his dad. And I want him to still be lit. Even when I was gone and he was trying to keep the channel up and stuff. I'm like, they was telling me, like people complained to me like, oh, Billy was being so boring. He was mean and stuff like that. I was like, when you really think about it, what do you expect from somebody who's hurting? I told him he didn't have to pick up the camera no more, but he kept picking it up. I told him to stop forcing it, cause you're grieving. He was grieving real bad, y'all. And he was still picking up the camera. And you know, when somebody's already sad, anything irritates him. So he was so irritated, especially with the kids. And I, I watched some of the vlogs back and I'm like, damn, babe, you was really aggravated this day. Why did you just not vlog? Like, you didn't have to vlog. You were kind of on the mean side, and it's because you were unhappy. You didn't have to vlog. But he said he didn't want to not, you know, he didn't want to disappoint me. I'm like, you ain't disappointing me. You're going through something. But in life, that's what a lot of us do. You know, we try to keep pushing and not letting ourselves heal. And that's why I'm like, baby, you need to heal. So I'm going to go make him some soup. 
getting some organic stuff, some carrots and potatoes and all that good stuff, and I'm gonna get him right. I might show y'all how I make it so y'all could make it too. All right, so guys. All right, this is a bunna in Creole. Bunna. You guys may know it as a plantain. A plantain. Banana, plantain, whatever you call it. Bunna. Banana. Say it after me, bunna. Okay, so you say, it's like a, a hair bun. Yeah. And then you said bun. Bun, none. This is egg noodle. We love egg noodle with the soups. I'm making daddy soup today. All right, this is carrots, organic carrot. You see how I got this? I might try to plant it. Cause remember I told you I might, I'm, I'm considering starting a garden. And I think this would be good to start one with the organic carrots. How, well, how do you say carrot in Korean? Kawot. 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 <laughs> Kawot. Celery. I don't know how to say celery in Korean. Celery. I got some mushrooms, some organic portobello mushroom. I Baby don't know how to spinach. say. Oh, mushroom is called shu. Shu. Shu in Korean. So I'm gonna hit you with shu. Shu. Yeah. This is potato. Pom de te. Pom de te. Pom de te. That's how I say potato in Korean. Pom de te. We have an onion. Onion. Zonion. 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 That's spinach. spinach. Spinach is, how you say spinach Epina. Epina? Epina. Epina. Epis, isn't that? Epis, no, it's epina. I don't, isn't epis like um, um, epis, pepper? The epis is all the different Spicy. veggies and spices mixed together, yeah. blended, and we put it on our meat to marinate it. So epina, spinach, and chicken. How we say chicken in Creole? Gian. I don't know. What? Chicken. Pool. Pool. Actually, pool. That's how you say chicken. Pool. So this is the chicken breast this thin. I'm gonna chop it up. And then we have vegetable stock. I mean chicken stock. And that's it. That's all I need. And some seasoning, some spices, and I'm gonna get busy right. Yeah. Sorry, are you gonna nope. eat some of this soup? Nick. You used to love soup. Well, I ain't cooking nothing else for dinner. Size on punishment, y'all. He keep begging me to get off punishment. I'm trying to tell him I don't wanna switch it up. I'm stuck on my I stuck on the one week. And I bet you never do what you did again. Alright, I love you. I know what I did wrong. I know you did. I know I'm pretty sure you would never do it again. I can't unground you because I'm sticking stern to that day. One week. Help me cook daddy some food because he's sick. And tomorrow I'm gonna be going um out tomorrow night. Or is it Saturday night? And I need you to take care of daddy when he's sick, because he's sick. Okay? Here's to you. I'm gonna be so bored. I'm gonna be the kids are so boring. They, that's your, you, your brother and they're sister boring. are the most important people in your life. Right I now. You know, have to protect but they're so them. boring. They're not boring. They are boring. Go play with your brother and sister. Oh, or, or help me cook. That's the only options we have here. And get off my camera. Ah. Let me cook. I gotta make this stuff. All right, let me go ahead and start making this. First step, washing the vegetables. like a baby all right so y'all now y'all know what's going on back there if y'all hear it that's billy um sorry and billy playing child all right so i got my potatoes here with the mushrooms right they'll cut up i got the carrots celery got the chicken broth. so chicken hold on hold on i think my, my hubby looked like he knocked you out hmm? i want to go to you got my baby well, now y'all stop playing. 
I hope you feel better. You okay, Jit? No. <laughs> I gotta braid all the hair later on, guys. Well, not all of them, just Sire. I'm not looking forward to it, but I do love braiding their hair because it, it makes their, they look nice and cute. I had cleaned the chicken with some vinegar, salt, chopped it all up. I got some onions here. I got seasoning. I don't put too much seasoning. Some Maggie bouillon. Some, um, this is my secret seasoning right here. Add some poultry seasoning. Mm -hmm. I use olive oil to like, you know, fry up the stuff. Y'all gonna see what I do, but. Oh yeah, I actually forgot some spinach. The spinach is right here. Gotta put the spinach in there. What's soup without spinach, right? I don't know. So let me go ahead and start mixing everything up. Cause Billy's starting to get hungry. Sai, you hungry too? You don't want soup? I guess I gotta make something else. I don't think I'm making something else. Y'all tell me if I'm being too lenient. Should the kids eat soup or should I make them what they want? Cause in my mind, the way my mom taught me, if one person sick, everybody eat the person, the sick person food. That's just that. Cause who wants to do double work? Not me. If you want something else, then I'll think about making something else. If I'm in a good mood. I actually got a lot to do today. I gotta go to the mall to buy clothes for the video shoot. So I'm not gonna be able to make food. Sorry. We gonna go in with the olive oil. Ooh, this pot is hot. The pot is hot, the pot is hot. A good little thing, cause I'm making a big amount of soup. I'm gonna season the chicken right quick. You know, this is chicken breast, so I can guarantee you, it don't need, well it do need a lot, but all that gonna do what it needs to do. Mix this up. If you, if you guys know how to cook, y'all know chicken breast is just easy to just fry up. So that's what I'm doing. We're gonna fry this up. Y'all saw that? Your girl starting fires up in here. Yeah. I'm gonna add the celery too and the carrot. Just because they're the hardest vegetable. You know what I feel like I need? I feel like I need one of those things that show y'all what I'm doing. That, that's, that's like when I get more into my cooking. Because y'all, this is just light work. I'm just doing this for fun. Not for fun, but just for, I don't know, just to show y'all. But if I really want to take my cooking and show y'all cooking recipe stuff, seriously, I'm going to really jack this whole place out so y'all can really see. It don't take chicken that long to cook. So, I'm gonna go ahead in with everything else. I think I put too much potatoes. I'm trying to see if they could eat this for like a long time, maybe like two days straight. Now I'm throwing everything in the pot. Onions. Onions. I'm gonna put some garlic in here. Cause I actually forgot it. I usually like to fry my garlic, but I totally forgot it. So I'm gonna see if I could get it in there now. And mix everything up. All right, and that's it y'all. Now I'm gonna vegetable stock it up. Taste test, make sure everything tastes good. Everything tastes good, taste test and stuff like that. But everything's in here. I just need to add my vegetable stock and flavor it up. And I'ma cover it up and then it'll be done. Then it'll be ready to serve up and I'll show you how it look. Before I forget, once everything start boiling and I feel like the vegetables get cooked, I'm gonna add the egg noodles, then cover it up. And once the egg noodles are cooked and everything's good, I'ma serve it up. I'ma show you what it's looking like after. It should look like this, guys. It's done. Got the mushrooms in there. Got the carrots, the potatoes, the egg noodles. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean? The spinach, all that good stuff is in here. And it tastes delicious. I did add some cayenne pepper, some lemon juice, just to make it, um, just to give it some flavor. And a little bit more Maggie bouillon, but it's fine. So, you guys, later on in the day now, and we have to go to the mall. I'm taking all of the kids with me, all three of them, and I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm really, oh, I'm really unsure about this, but you know, we're gonna see how this goes, you know? There's so many single moms out there that do it and do it well. So how hard could it be, right? Just me and my three kiddos. 
You see, I got my boy Sire helping me out. Major, say hi. Hi. Say what's good, Major. Say, say, Major, say what's good. Good. What's good? And Maddie, say hi. Hi. All right. So now, Sire, we so, already seen you. Y'all ready for this? Yeah. Before we go, let's do a prep talk. Mm -hmm. How to get myself right. You know, I leave these shades in the car. And they match. Period. Oh, Billy said, wait for him. I guess daddy want to come now. So, guys. <laughs> now you want to come. Now I got to see him in the back. Yeah. Me? So, guys, let's prep talk. Major Melly say, we are going to listen to mommy. We are going to listen, listen to mommy and daddy. Okay, we're gonna mommy. stay in my, where mommy can see you. We're gonna stay where mommy and daddy can see you. Right? Yes. All right, and don't give us hard time, okay? Don't give mommy and daddy hard time. Say okay. Check. Okay. Let's see, Melly, are you sure you're, gonna, you're not gonna cry and go crazy for toys? Mm -mm. Don't cry. If I say no toys, just listen to me and be like, okay, okay? Uh oh, only two toys. Only two toys. I ain't say nothing about toys. We going for no clothes, toys. okay? No toys only today. Clothes today. All right. This one? Yeah, yeah keep you those toys. Those. Major, you hear me? Major's not don't you give me problems. It usually be Melly and Sia who be crying about not getting stuff. What? But today I have to shop for clothes, not toys, okay, kids? I this was say no toys. I feel no offended. toys. Good. What did I do to you? I'm usually the most calm at the mall. No moment. toys at the mall. Sire, you be the one who be doing too much. Can I get this? Can I get AirPods? Can I get this? Can I get that? Jit want everything. And when you tell him no. Let's have the mom. All right, well, we gonna see today, y'all. And after that, we gotta get food. Cause that soup did nothing for me. Oh my God, I drunk that soup and I'm starving still. Um, I can't live off just soup. So we're gonna go pass by a little restaurant, hands off food. It looks yeah, like it's still baby. stormy weather out here, but hopefully we catch good vibes. But anyways, um, we were having the hardest time uploading the wedding video, y'all. By now, you guys would have saw it, but oh my gosh. Our editors, um, first we got the trailer. The trailer was so good. Then our editors got it. Our editors did it, but it was missing color. So we colored it, and the renderings took forever. And oh my gosh, we wanted to have it out by 3. It's now 6, so it's looking like it's going to go out on a Friday instead of the Thursday. So if you guys watching this, just know I tried real hard What's to get it out to y'all, but it didn't happen. Who called me? All right, so guys, we were just heading out to go to the mall, right? And Billy was like, babe, we got a, um, the videos rendering, the colors rendering and all this stuff. And he, we really want to get it out as soon as possible because it's like we've been waiting and pushing it back and pushing it back, pushing it back. And we don't want to do that no more. Even though we really got to get close to the kids for this music video, we feel like you guys need this video first. So we're coming back home before we go to the mall to make sure this video upload and that way it goes live today. No matter what time, it's going live. It don't matter if it's 7, 8, 9 o'clock, it's going live today. We're done doing this waiting game, okay? And we're sorry for the wait, but it was a lot. It was a lot. You gonna get my laptop or you want me to come up? Tell Sai to come get it. Okay. Sai, you wanna go get it? Please. Sai is really mad because he ready to go and we be tired of being home. Me and Sai be sneaking out. We be going to the movies and stuff because we don't got time to be home all day, but we tired of being home. Mommy, not yet. Not yet. We finna go upload this video real quick and then we leaving. All right, you guys, after an hour of waiting, so um, we went back to the house. We uploaded the video and stuff. After an hour of waiting, we're all, we're finally on the road. But we might not make it to buy clothes today because it's literally about to be seven. The mall closes at nine, and we need to eat. Ooh, there's a police right there behind you, babe. You better slow your road. Going a little too fast now. There you go. So, yeah, like I said, guys, you you yo, you ever got pulled over by police? When, and then you see them behind you and now your heart dropping. You got to keep looking like, oh, man, I hope they don't pull me over. I can't stand when police get behind me. And look at this old car. What is going on? Look at this. This is a Scooby-Doo car. I want to see how I look in the front. Babe. Yeah. You know how you be knowing all the cars? Mm. What car is that? It's a Toyota. How you know? Where on that car does it say Toyota? Where? I can't see that part. Where say, babe? Just you guessed. You're a liar. It said Toyota on the back. Where? You can't see. Huh? It does say Toyota. Guys, come. Are you guys kidding me? It's something right there. You can't see that? They trying me right now, guys. They don't say no dang Toyota. So on you it. don't see the Toyota? Sire can see it. Sire, where it say Toyota? By the tag. You see the number four? The number four. Oh yeah, you blind. The tag. 
Who see it? Me I see it. Melly, you you serious? I went back here and I can see it. In a bike. I can see it. And the police right there, they about to get in trouble. Oh no, nah, the police over here don't care. They, they let moving, people. dude. They they going fast too. Yeah, the police around here. It looked like that guy's just going home. That officer. If they was in the hood, the police would have been made a U-turn and chased them. Chased them. Um, in the hood, they be. Yo, he's literally riding a hand bike, like a regular bike, and the guy has his foot on the bike, and he's towing him. Like literally, they going like at least 50 miles per hour right Look, now. Look, mom. Says he, huh? Look, I took a picture. Take it. Yeah. Oh, look, guys. All right, so anyways, like I was saying, we going to um, the mall. What is all of these white things? Like, why is weird things happening in our neighborhood? What is these white things on the floor? They're like everywhere. Sand. You think they're sand? Oh. They're gonna open this road up. You think so? Oh, it might be dirt to open up the road. They're gonna open this road up. That'll be so. nice, that'll be nice, that'll be nice. And they have oh, new communities. There's no car in front of this car, bro. In front of another Toyota, the other one. Well, literally the officer is behind us, so we have to do 35 miles per hour regardless, so no choice. Usually I be flying down this little, this little strip right here. I'm doing 70, but that's not good. Don't do 70 on a 35 mile. So guys, always follow the law. Always follow the speed limit. Stay safe. All right, y'all. I'm learning a lot today. I'm seeing a lot today. That's how you know we don't be outside like that. But we finally outside. So we going out to eat. Then if we can make it to the mall, we'll make it. If not, then tomorrow. We will not end this week without getting these kids clothes for the beauty of Are you going to record me tomorrow? Am I recording you tomorrow? Yeah. Guys, I will definitely be recording Billy because I've seen the funniest things from people who are under like anesthesia, is it called? When they I do the... Laughing gas. Yes, yeah, laughing gas. So it's so hilarious. I don't know, so I'm, give me that. It, it's the same thing. They puts you to sleep, right? I don't know. I don't know, guys. So... I'm gonna see if it's funny. I record. If it's not funny, and I, cause I don't play by my man. If it's not funny, I ain't playing. I ain't gonna record him looking like that. But I think it'd be so funny to see if he act crazy and, and delirious and stuff. But anyways, we're gonna go eat some food. Then hopefully we make it to the mall. So y'all pray for us to get to the mall. All right, guys. So we just got to the restaurant. It's a spot called Ab and Louis. Abe and Louis. So this is our first time. But look at the bread. They have different bread. This one is like intriguing to me. It looks like a And I think I might like it, so I'm gonna try this with my Alright, guys, I put some butter. Mm hmm. Yummy. It's fire. Guys, we made it back home. We didn't get to go to the mall to do the clothes shopping and I feel so nauseous. I don't know if it was them oysters. What? I didn't charge. I did. It was on charge. I'm so nauseous, y'all. I don't feel good. Them oysters were like a little undercooked, I think. And now I just feel so nauseous. I feel so sick. I don't know what's, I don't know. I don't like feeling like this. I, we had ordered like chocolate cake for dessert and normally oh guys I, I look a mess I'm sorry normally like I like chocolate cake but I could not even eat it it's, like I put it in my mouth and it made me feel so nauseous like I was about to throw up yes hi girly hey boy gang gang look at me roller skate let me see you roller skate on oh, what you don't got no roller skates girl oh 
I don't know y'all. I'm never going back over there ever again. Do I recommend whatever that place is called? No. Ooh, guys. I don't feel good. I don't feel good at all. This is, I don't know. It's just, uh, I just feel, I feel sick. I just want to barf. I want to throw everything out, but I don't like to throw up. I'm, I don't, I hate feeling, I hate the sensation that throwing up gives, so I don't like to do it. But I feel so disgusting. From a scale of one to 10, I'm at a 10 of feeling like throwing up. I'm gonna leave you guys here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Um, when we see what happens with Billy and his whole mouth situation. Dang it! Boy, you doing it all wrong. Do it, big boy. Bye. We came from the bottom and we going up. Going up. I can never fall down cause you hold me up. There's no place in this world that got all this love. Beam squad, we gon' ride. We make it.